Hi everyone, so in this video we will learn how you can add whole numbers and decimal numbers using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. We'll link to our style sheet. Add script file here. We need one container. And we'll have two input elements. Type will be number. We don't need this name attribute. Let's make it first input. Copy it, paste it here. Make it second input. We need one button. Let's make it add. And we have to show the result. So let's make use of h1 element. And default text will be result. Let's go to style sheet. Select the container, width will be 400 pixels and margin will be auto. Open this file in the browser and this is the output. Let's go to script file and select all the elements. So we'll make it first input document.query selector first input copy and paste make it second input same goes here select the button so it will be btn add document.query selector Select the H1 element, do one thing, make it result. Now let's add event list to this button and display the result. So event is click. create a variable total and we'll get the input value using first input dot value property same goes in case of second input we'll set the inner text of the h1 element like this now just save it go to browser type some number for example 45 65 so as you can see we are not getting the right output it is basically concatenating 45 with the 65. To fix this, we have to make use of parse int method here. Like this. Same goes here. Save it. Go to browser. Enter the numbers again. Let's try with different numbers. So let's put 10 and 20 and it's working. Now you may have noticed when I click on this input box, I'm getting these up and down arrows. It only happens when you set the type number for the input box. We can get rid of this using CSS styles. Let's go to style sheet. I already got a style. So let me paste it here. So this is the piece of code which will get rid of those up and down arrows. Now just save it, go to browser. Now you can see we are not getting those arrows. If you want to add two decimal numbers, then you have to change the method in the JavaScript. Instead of pass int, we have to use pass float. So here we get pass float. Same goes here. Pass float. It is only required in case of a decimal numbers. Now just save it, go to browser, type some decimal number, for example, 4.5 and 6.5. Let's try with different numbers. So let's make it 5.6589. It will be 7.153. And we are getting this output. 
now most of the time you only want two digits after the decimal but in this case we are having four digits so let's fix this we need to use a method to fixed and we'll put two here now save it go to browser now type the number again so let's put some random number click add and we are getting this result if i'll put three here it will limit the result up to three digits after the decimal so let's make it like this and this is the output so based on your requirement you can change the number here i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day